welcome and welcome back to my channel this week we'll be traveling to japan i wanted to recreate some of my favorite japanese dishes um, i love going to japan and eating japanese food however i am not a japanese so in order to make those recipes more authentic i'm gonna consult some of my japanese friends who are also currently in japan what like what do you guys normally use for shabu shabu's dipping sauce? We just eat it straight from the pot. Yeah, no definitely. dipping sauce. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, it was great talking to you. Bye. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> the main one would be ponzu. Mm -hmm. So now the shabu shabu is ready. I made three types of sauces. One is a ponzu sauce, which is soy sauce with some lemon. And that's sesame sauce. And I also made raw eggs. I know normally, traditionally, they don't use raw eggs. Um, in shabu shabu, it normally comes with a sukiyaki. But ever since I tried beef with raw eggs, I just can't get away with it. So it wouldn't be very authentic to eat it, but you know, I felt like it's everyone's personal choice in terms of how you want to eat shabu shabu. So for shabu shabu, I normally like to lay out the vegetables so you have the sweetness and the freshness from the vegetable in the broth. And then I will cook the meat. So like few dips and then with the raw egg mm. you can also dip into the ponzu sauce to give more flavor because the raw egg doesn't have any other ingredients mm. The citrusy of lemon really offset the fatness of the beef. Oh, this is so good. So I went to a cute little Japanese store this morning and got those snacks. I have chocolate chips cookie and mochi. This mochi has two flavors. One is bean paste and the other one is matcha. I'm very excited to try this. And the weather here in Toronto has been miserable in the past few days. But I guess that also means I can get cozied up and watch all my Japanese series and eat those babies. Let's try these first. I believe that's matcha. Mm. Oh, it's so cute. Mm. This is good. Personally, I prefer those chocolate chip cookies better than the mochi. Maybe it's the one brand that I got. It's a bit too sweet for me. This one is not too sweet. It's perfect and it's super crunchy and then you have 
chocolate in it over so good mm. morning guys it is thanksgiving holiday here in canada so I decided that I want to make those Japanese souffle pancakes for brunch for myself and maybe to go with some iced matcha latte. Um, I loved those fluffy pancakes when I was in Japan so I wanted to recreate this recipe. I've never made it before in my life so I hope it turns out to be fluffy not the regular pancake. We'll see. Never tried it. <laughs> It's so good! Finally, this took forever, but I hope it's worth it. It looks so good. So I'm gonna try. It feels so bad to break it, but. You know what would be good? If I have some strawberry jam on top. Personally, I don't like to put maple syrup or honey, 
but I think some cranberry, raspberry, strawberry jam will be very good with it. Yeah, that was a success. I'm so happy. Morning guys, today we're gonna go for a hike. It is autumn here in Canada. It's the most beautiful season because of the fall leaves. The colors are just absolutely gorgeous. So we're excited for that. Um, we booked our car weeks ago just for the day, but there's a thunderstorm here. So we, don't, we never know because maybe the weather will get better when we get to the spot. Um, but fingers crossed, we're just gonna hope for the best. Tiggy, are you excited for the hike? Yeah? Yeah? Uh -huh. yes. So it's still raining. The weather did get better though. There's no thunder, so um, thank God. And uh, it's super nice. It's a nice walk. Um, I'll show you guys when I get to the summit. Let's get going. We made it! Yay! Max. <laughs> I want to show you guys the view. It's so nice. It's beautiful. Piggy. Oh, poor baby. He's all wet. Oh, he's shivering. Oh. <laughs> Can't wait. Mm. The curry is so rich and creamy. Honestly, I think the store bought udon isn't bad. I'm very impressed. I mean, it's very simple. Only takes me 10 minutes to make the whole thing. And I think it's a great work from home lunch. I also like to drink this Japanese roasted rice tea. It's unsweetened and it really balances out the richness of the curry.
This is so satisfying after the whole day work. I think I'll make it my go-to dinner menu. I mean, I might not have enough time to prepare all those during the week, but on Friday, why don't I just treat myself and prepare all that? And I think I'll end the vlog here. Um, I'm gonna finish my food and uh, go to sleep happily. And uh, please feel free to comment down below if you want to see more dishes from different countries. And please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos about traveling or food or home decor even. And thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! My old lovers fall into my covers where they sink one by one.